Hello and welcome back to maybe teleporting away from Nekataka. I don't know where. Maybe <clears throat> somewhere to the east. That's all we know. Capital city Nekataka. Come to watch us work. It's not as exciting when we're running through calculations. Yeah, about the experiment. Settled your nerves? Let's do we it. Can get underway whenever you're ready. Gelardi. Very well. You stand there. Ansel, the machine. Do it quick, before I change my mind. Oh, these guys were ready. All right, Watcher. Remember, focus on the beam of light. Got it. It ought to be like stepping through a door. It does a little bit... Does look like a little bit more special than that. And remember, don't... Don't what? Damn it. <clears throat> Don't what? We have so many things to do in this city. Wow. I think the the top priority is talking with the queen. But we need to loot Archmere's uh, lab. Here, Cap. Do we just think we be? Realm of the Beast of Winter. Of uh, the black hole. Oh boy. This is why I safeguard the souls in my lantern. Traversing hell ain't always as easy as it ought to be. Let's go. Not possible. I die fast. Hey, doggy, come, come with us. Spirit residue. <clears throat> No. We have to go. Can't. Can't. This is not what I signed up for. You have to run. No. no. Please. Oh. Uh, this is kind of what Eltas does to people. Yeah, we don't have to prepare for this fight that much. <clears throat> Chunks of the unnatural architecture have been torn from their roots, hanging still in the void. It's mine now. More spirit residue. Sure. I conquered everything. Huh? And more blights. I beg you. And a soul collector? Whatever that is. Guys, don't rush in too much. Just take him one at a time. Just do a heal. Oh! On her. Going in for that big guy was uh, slightly ballsier. Okay, charm works. Okay, heal is up. A pain block. Did I mess up his AI? I don't think so. <clears throat> so we just gotta take out the soul collector. Yeah, I guess it's good for something. Scourging Blight doesn't help at all. It's getting charmed now. Again. Sure. Let's take out the charm guy. I can scarcely believe it. Done and done. Okay. Oh. One more uh storm. Say your prayers. Blight. 
A wall formed uh, from tessellating blocks of bismuth rises before you, and from out of that wall juts a face at least uh, three or mana high. Its mouth hangs open in a silent shout, eyes wide. A damp, frigid wind uh, screams between the rocks. It carries whispers in its wake and chills you to the core. What have we here? The voice of uh, Rimgrand, Rimgand rumbles from the stone. God of entropy, cold, winter, bad luck, famine, and natural disasters manifests it as a giant albino aurochs moving amidst a great blizzard and in the plodding footsteps of uh, Rim Rimgand come death and disintegration. A wayward watcher has wandered into my realm. Whatever should I do with you? <laughs> well, you can start with uh, turning that front upside down. Rimgand. The god chuckles, a sound like boulders crashing down a mountainside. You did not receive an invitation to my realm, Herald of Barath. Tell me, why should I not grind your soul to dust? Well, you have no reason to grind my soul to dust in the first place, you know? More like, why should you? That, that's my question. The stone face splits into a broad smile. Well, I can't tell. Go ahead, try it, I dare you. You know, I like the aggressive approach, but I don't know if I wanna uh, intimidate or threaten a stone face that we can, um, can't defeat in any obvious way I can see. I could be useful to you. Oh, I doubt Barath would appreciate that. I do not fear Barath's wrath. Embrace oblivion with open arms. Watcher. The chill wind you first felt when you entered this place picks up. It becomes a deafening cacophony. A shriek so loud and sharp it might tear the at very bones from your skin or shred your soul into to cobweb tatters. Do it already. Let me taste oblivion. Your shout of Defiance echoes out into the void. Rimgrand is only too happy to oblige. Did he die? I suspected that we might have a problem here. <laughs> oh, come on, game. Seriously? We have to go. Okay. Should we even go to Rim Gant? No, no, please. Well, this is a well, I I do quick save quite a bit. It's kind of a bummer that I didn't quick save there. Let's go. Take him out. So, what's the plan? Of all my people, I am the last. Well, well, I cannot die. What? Well, you died here. She Kasi Bizu. Ye Ked Tigewu Tiki. The Grey Lands. They will remember. Yeah. Are we dealing with more uh, st storm ghosts this time? It looks that way. No! Can us do that? It's kind of hard to hit the enemies with the debuffs. Hell yeah! Very well done. 
Scorching Blight. It's working for us now. Soul Collector. Say your prayers. Let's go. Smart Stony. That wasn't half bad. We tried to uh, charm the Scorching Blight at the very end. Alright. No, this is why it didn't work. I usually save. What a wayward watcher has wandered into you did not receive an invitation to my realm, Herald of Barath. Well, Tell we need me, to suck up to him. Why should I not grind your soul to dust? I could be useful to you. But I have no need for a vassal. Everything I desire, I do for myself. That sounds great, but you, you still need someone just to like, do the, the easy tasks. Embrace oblivion with open arms, watcher. Wait! Your cry echoes out into the void, slowly the wind dies and the cold abates. Do you fear dissolution after all? How droll. Please don't kill me. As much as it would delight me to scatter your soul, you belong to Barath. Exactly. I'm his pet. Probably he's gonna kill me. I will spare you that fate. For I know you now. wouldn't do it. Pfft, no. That was alarming. Can I just say, like, thanks boss for not killing me? As intended. Oh, this guy feel, likes to feel powerful. Okay. Now, on to the matter that brought you here. Actually, I just uh, accidentally stumbled upon this place. Your animants of friends meddle in things beyond their comprehension. Well, that's that's obvious. Those guys are bloody clueless. Not like you, uh, Lord. Were I not the generous creature I am, you would have died. Whew. Yeah, I know. You're so generous. Like, killing me would be, like, completely out of character, I would say. Be sure to tell the Animancers that they have failed. And that they have drawn my gaze. I will not hesitate to obliterate them if they irritate me again. Got it, boss. I'll tell them that they should stop bugging you. Of course you will. He radiates a satisfaction tin and sharp as polar sunlight. You might prepare yourself, Watcher, for something wondrous is on the horizon. Aeothas will usher in an age glorious in its brevity. Uh, I don't know if you want information from the guy. I'm looking forward to it. Perhaps when Barath is through with you, I will find a use for you myself. Rare is the mortal who understands me as you do. We are like... We are like two of the same thing, exactly. We're like, I... Like, I only met you, but I already think of you as my best friend. And also my superior, of course. And do send my regards to your Animancer friends. Exactly. Rimgard's voice fades to nothing, only the wind remains. He'd be great at parties, Rimurgan. Let's take his stuff. <laughs> then leave. As fast as possible. Gods, an end at last. Well, I beg you. Wanna... Now we gotta go. Before he changes his mind. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going again. <clears throat> Watcher, uh, can you hear me? You raise your head to find yourself surrounded by anxious faces. Flown withdraws the finger, currently potting at your temple and nearly stumbles backwards. Oh, thank the gods. Thank Helia. Merla, you had us in a panic. 
Plant sets a hand to her chest and fans her herself with the other. I don't have to tell you it didn't work. The current spiked and you went completely still, breathing but nothing else. We sent for the physician. Myself, I was about to try throwing some water in your face. Oh, no. Wow. Don't, 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 do, don't try such extreme measures. No way. What happened? Did you feel any pain? Do you remember anything? Rimgrand, Rim, Rimrigand, senses regards. Yeah. You had some kind of vision, a near-death experience? No, I mean, I literally went to the beyond and spoke to Rimmergand. What was it like? It was terrifying. While you speak, one of the researchers prods you gently with a copper rod. You hear the device in his hand give a high, piercing whine. Well, slap the rod away! The device clatters to the ground. The Animancer looks at it, then back to you. Are you feeling any heightened aggression? Yeah. Let's not harass our very patient friend any further. Flan coughs under her breath. Sientere, Watcher, truly. It seems we sent your mind further afield than intended, and without the rest of you in tow. Not entirely outside our predictions, but not the result we wanted. We have stipend for volunteers. You're welcome to the sum of it. I hope it goes some way toward earning your forgiveness. Nope. Just as I hope this hasn't put you off helping us. We just have to adjust the current, give you a chance to control your... flight, for want of a better word. We're all very glad you're in one piece. We'll have a look at the machines, figure out what went wrong. Until then, I'm sure our friends at headquarters will want an update. And to see I haven't done you any permanent harm. We'll send word when we're ready here. Damn it. Sending me to my death? Well, I thought this is gonna be just a sweet teleporter. But I'm not so sure about ever using it anymore. Justice, send me to hell. I'm not that much of in a hurry to get there. Can't say I'm really living the peaceful life, but it's still better than going straight to the... Well, I guess Rimurgand is not really a god of death, but he likes killing people quite a bit. <clears throat> so, what leads to the east? Supplies, get your supplies. Supplies here. here. No, I don't care about the supplies. Will east lead out of town? I'm curious. East exit. I only have one here. Yeah, that, that doesn't really lead us to anywhere new, actually. Supply. Leave the city on foot. Yeah, we can leave the city. We need to go to Serpent's Crown. Mark won their beef. Candles and bombs. No, I'm... I take a pass on that one. Yeah, let's go to Serpent's Crown. So this is where we will meet the Queen at last. And after that, I don't know, like, we got so many things to do. Like, I spent such a long time in this city. I just wanna kinda wanna get out there, do some sailing. This, this city is huge. And, and we still have a lot to do here. So, We're awake right now, aren't we? Yes. <clears throat> I 
Ne tehe. You return. What say, friend? Oh, this is the woman with the the once that dumbass tablet. It was like, what? I'm return? No, I don't care about the tablet. Maybe I will find it eventually. Rapu epic. Crown guard. Hold a moment. You may visit the palace and its shrine, but be warned. About what? The queen meets with trading company vipers. Take care you are not bitten. I only intend to kill her, or dethrone her, or something like that. No trading company business here. That's a strange way to speak about your allies. Mere words. I have information for the queen? You will find her in her throne room through the door behind me. Inform the guards of your purpose. I will. Whether the queen will hear you above the baying of her guests is another matter. The guard gestures toward the door, dismissing you. Alright. What's over here? Hunter or prey? Hmm. A ratty? Do you seek companionship on your travels across the dead fire? Why not take a little friend along? Wow, she's awfully forward. We have many animals on offer. All well-trained oh. and eager for a new home. Let's see what you have. Akira, you are sure to find one that suits you. Bubble the cat, Elmo, Ginger Demon, Catherine von Killian the cat, Loki, Milks. Otto Starcat, Atlas, Chili. <laughs> they all give different effects. Stride. Harley, Pancake, Roxy, Freya, Mercedes, uh, Socrates, Gizmo, Barkstring. Ginger L. Ezri, Pumpkin Eater. And Rare Dan. <gasps> okay. Lungata. <clears throat> A woman with skin like hardened sailcloth sits upright and stares off to the distance. Her lips held in a, a tight and thoughtful pinch. She blinks and sits even straighter as you cross her view. So, it will be you. Well, I guess. Her hand strays toward the sheet at her side, but she holds your gaze evenly. What? Draw your weapon? I didn't come for this, but here we go. Um, Am I just missing something here? I don't know. That just seems very psycho to me. What? You... Do not know what I talk of, Akira? No. Then, I owe you an apology. I have collected many foes over the years. Some of them would sprint up the mountain to see me push through the jaws of the Great Eel. Not me. Sprinting up a mountain? You know how exhausting that is? That's just very short-sighted. You need to... Just like, uh... Help... Held this, hold a steady space, I guess. She exhales and moves her hand back to her lap. With me, it's usually Pit or some Ingritium machine instead of you. You look like you can take care of yourself. What? Akira, I have had much practice. Can she really? As Nungata Whale Splitter, I cleared the jungles and seas alike of slippery creatures. I earned my foes later, when I hunted a deadlier prey. Extremely tall woman. Pirates. Akira. Often. I was a bounty hunter. She smiles to herself. Hey, you're Nungata, eh? I heard you'd gone all dry up in Driftwood. The sea word weren't far from the mark. Spoken like a man who has never heard a Driftwood club crack an enemy's skull. Yungata lifts her brow at Seraphin before returning her focus to you. It's been years since I tossed a harpoon. So now I stay abreast of what bounties need filling. That's 
Mataru retirement for So you. what kind of bunt is you got? Interested in taking up the trade, are we? Nungata thumbs her chin and smiles as she considers. I hear you've done good work for Aboko. We all start somewhere, I suppose. I don't even know who Aboko is, but sure. I warn you that I deal in the heads of the exceptionally dangerous. A lady needs standards, after all. She raises her brow and searches for any sign of hesitation. I assume that means they are exceptionally well priced. <laughs> yep. You assume right, Hunter. Let's cut your teeth on clever Bena, infamous dwarf mystic of the obscured. A scavenger, I say. Picks off those who trust her for an evening, and then pockets their coin when she's bled them out. Doesn't sound that dangerous. I mean, okay, he's a killer and a deceiver. But like, not like she's like running a pirate band by herself. Bena was seen traveling on an island due southwest of Osongo. Got it. I return with her head. I'm quite the bounty hunter. Why so many bounty missions? I don't know. I'm not complaining though. But out, out of the blue, like the previous game didn't didn't really have this. But this one, like, we have at least 3-4 guys who are offering bounties. Lady Aperos stayed. What? Really? My fingers be fat and furry, but easy breezy wet hand. Welcome, traveler. <laughs> well, we just need to, uh, have a look-see inside, <laughs> I guess. Um. Hey, war dog. More war dogs. Exceptional pet armor. Anything over here? Nope. Why not? What's in the chest? Exceptional stiletto. Leave it to me. Sure. Yeah. Sure. All right. A little bit of looting. Shrine of Nagati. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do with that, so it doesn't matter. I just did a little bit of cleaning for her. She should say thanks. Also, her dog is, didn't even hurt me. And you can trust dogs. If I was a bad guy, uh, they would attack me. Muhai's estate. <clears throat> The door, the door is actually open, so probably someone is inside. Uh, what is this? <clears throat> Each island in this miniature model has been carefully sculpted, lined with card rings that indicate height. At last, Akira, I have waited a second life. Hey, Muhai, let's talk. There you are. The spirit tilts, uh, tilts her head, considering you. After a moment, she reaches a hand toward you. Uh, yeah, reach out your hand. Your hand passes through hers. She lets out a soft sighing sound and draws her hand back. I did not expect to wait so long for Rikuhu's messenger. Or have you come as Barret's usher? The foreigners twist even our gods. Yeah, I'm Barret's usher, I guess. Should you not be a dwarf? Should you not shut the fuck up? I'm not the usher, I'm a watcher. I'm helping 
the usher out. He's pretty busy. <laughs> Even dead, I am slighted. Akira, what injustice. <laughs> but you are here to take me away, are you not? Well, I refuse to go. Never will I move from this place until justice is done. Oi, sorry! Prepare the ghost trap. We need that. And none of that Ghostbusters theme song. <clears throat> she stamps her foot soundlessly. Or maybe yes. I follow Magrin's way. Yet sickness took me before my time. I died alone and without honors. It must be put right. My body cannot be left here to rot, forgotten. I feel it there like an itch. Is that why you haven't moved on? I could help you. Of course. Some kind of mistake was made, and now Magrin will put it right. I thank you. Please, search my home. My body cannot be far. Yeah, I'm already halfway done with searching your home. Alright, let's check it out. Orphan dog. I don't want to check up on her, I guess. You're taking Evie. Muhai's remnants. Um, wow, remains. The lifeless body of a Huana woman recovered from an estate serp in Serpent's Crown. Are we gonna dis just carry this around? Hey, Muhai, uh, found your body. Have you found it? Akira, I hope I have not rotted away. Uh, not completely. Also, you didn't give uh, the, the dog food, so... You know, you might be missing a leg or two. Just saying. I found the body in the bed. I assume it's yours. Yes. To think. A Mataru of the Kahunga tribe left to die alone and forgotten. Unthinkable. I guess you weren't very popular. Whip. <laughs> I fix it, I promise? Why does it matter? You're dead already! Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to arrange funeral rites. Remain silent. Truly, they did not come for me. How long has it been? My house fills with the stink of death. May it spread through all of Serpent's Crown. But no matter. Now you can make it right. Take my body to the Temple of Magrin in the Sacred Stair. There is a great fire there that burns eternally. Burn my body there, so that it may be dedicated to Magrin in death. I cannot pass from this life until all is in order. That sounds good enough. <clears throat> I thought you were wanted some kind of a... Like a big act of redemption in life, but like just burning your body? Sign me up. Very well, I will fulfill your final wish. Are you sure this is what you want? This isn't how it works. Find the Edwains and you will be released into the wheel. Why should I bother? I'm supposed to carry a body down the temple without anyone noticing. Akira, wrap it in a sheet if you are worried. Magrin places such obstacles before us so that we may overcome them. Right. To the temple. Lead on, my friend. What? But you're staying here. Well, I guess we're gonna... Uh, just burn her later. Oh, I worry about you, Adair. There'd be a finger free out here that you shouldn't be aiming at pet. Hey, it was dark. I only saw the back of your head. I thought you were some huge island squirrel. This ain't about me, farmer. <laughs> Huge island squirrel. Hey, Una. I'm sure I have the perfect gemstone to match your eyes. Take a look. Oh, I want to see that. That's garbage. Grants. Chaotic orb. You know, let the conquest of missiles. You have something more expensive? 
Like seriously, that's what I want. I want to buy good stuff that stays with me for a long time. Well, never mind that. The Kano's estate. Hmm. Anyway, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.